Our Class 2A Built Ford Tough Player of the Week crown goes to our first player that's not a quarterback, but rather a defensive end and tight end for Honey Grove, a program that has not allowed a point nor punted yet this season. How about Brody Mahan last week, Tub? Facing a team that was averaging 30 points a game, he made darn sure to continue his team's perfect defensive streak. Yeah, the motto is no points, no punts, and that's what they're doing there at Honey Grove. You know, I asked Coach Shane Fletcher for TexasFootball.com. I said, hey, you know, just to clarify, you guys haven't punted yet. This is right. He goes, yeah, there's probably a couple times I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> and when you've got a guy like Brody, Brody Mahan, who has been absolutely fantastic all season long. Why would you? Like, if your defense is just going to bail you out, they can be aggressive because their defense has been so suffocating. And not to mention, he's also a threat on the offensive side. This is a young man who is at the core of what has been one of the most remarkable seasons so far in Texas high school football. Still work to do. They've got Cooper and Wolf City down the road. But this is a really impressive start for this Honey Grove squad. Brody and company have outscored their opponents 273 to nil through five games. Not bad under head coach Shane Fletcher, who joined me moments ago. Coaches, we were joking about before the interview, to think you have yet to allow a point and punt this season. You have not allowed a point and you have not punted through five games this season. In my 12 years covering Texas High School football, I've not experienced that. I'm curious to know if you ever have. And, and I know this might be a simple question, but how are you guys doing this? Uh, you know, here, here's the thing. One, one thing that a lot of people don't know is my defense coordinator was diagnosed with stage four cancer uh, last March, and he's been defeating that one day at a time. And uh, these kids, they love him and, and they play for him, and he's an extremely intelligent defensive mind. I mean, uh, our, our, our defense is so – crazy intricate it, it is unbelievable but um he, he even scheduled his surgery to have his co part of his colon removed uh his gallbladder his appendix uh on our bye week he scheduled surgery on our bye week so he wouldn't miss and he has not missed a practice yet remind me his name larry mcfarland larry mcfarland brody what does coach mcfarland mean to you what's been the mantra behind him and your defensive unit this year uh, I think he means like a lot to our football team and, uh, you know, we play for him and, uh, everything we do is for him since ever since he's been diagnosed with cancer. Well, you certainly, uh, you certainly showed out for him last week and you continue to do so really all season long. I I'm curious to know where your mind goes defensively when you are so locked in and, and you're just attacking opposing offenses the way you do, where does that come from? And what's going through your head in those games? Well, it, uh, it starts with Coach Mack. His uh, motto is to run to the football. And I think that's just what I do, just run to the ball, get there, make the tackle. And I think, yeah, it's just run to the football. Well, it's certainly why you were named this week's Built Ford Tough Player of the Week. Congrats on that. How did you learn the news and, and what was your reaction to this? Uh, I learned the news. Um, I wasn't supposed to know, but one of our coaches had texted me and was telling me congrats. And uh, then my dad walked in the house and he acted surprised. Like he he acted like I wasn't supposed to know. And then I, I mentioned it to him, and he was like, "Oh!" And it was just funny. Well, coach, I mean, well, listen. It's the reason this award is so huge is because it acknowledges those that excel both on and off the field, coach. Why is Brody so deserving of an honor like this? You know, Brody is a kid that uh, this is my second year here, um, and you know, we have early morning weights, and he he beats me here. You know, he he's uh, he plays every sport you can play. Uh, he's a very talented basketball and baseball player, left-handed pitcher. Um, you know, his and with that, his grades never slide. You know, he's he's makes excellent grades, does an excellent job in the classroom. Teachers love him; they're always praising him. And you know, he's uh, he's one heck of a football player. You're a joy to watch, both of you. Really incredible run thus far this season. It's been such a joy to watch you. I know Coach McFarland is certainly proud of that defensive unit. Brody, congrats on this honor, and uh, best of luck, guys, the rest of the way. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.